Today we're here at Epcot to talk about the new Communicore Hall, Communicore Plaza, and some test track updates to see what's been going on. Communicore Hall and Plaza opened up last month, but we haven't seen it yet, so today we're gonna check it out. Canada, far and wide. We've never seen this, so we're going to see it. Last time we were here, this was all boarded off, and now I guess it's a little lawn area with some lawn games. You have cornhole and just some benches and fans. It's all fun and games, it says. It's a cute little area. There's a band out here playing right now. This is the new area. Let's go check out Communicore Hall. I have to shout because this band is so loud, I can't even cover what I want to cover right now. <laughs> this is it. <laughs> Just a bunch of tables right now. <laughs> we'll give our review afterwards, David. <laughs> it's, it's all yeah, it's, um, it's not the best. Hopefully once like the festival start, because this is supposed to be like a hub for the fest, it'll be a lot better. I feel like I'm walking through a community college. Yeah, it's nothing. It's literally just tables. These flags are cool. That's about the only thing. It's just a big empty room. When you look at the concept art, it looks a lot different than this. And again, I get there's no fest going on, but I think they still could have done something more fun with it. But unfortunately, this is all it is. <laughs> So that's our quick review of Communicore Hall. The outside's cool. I do want to see this at night. I know that these light up. Mickey and Friends is over there. But this is Communicore Hall. We're gonna go on the seas with Nemo and Friends because it's hot and it's only five minutes. So here is the Mickey and Friends building. You can meet Mickey, Minnie, and Goofy inside of there. The queue is outdoors for the most part. You only went inside for like a couple minutes. But there is this cool mural. It has tributes to some old rides here, old buildings. Mickey and Minnie are on there. Here's Mickey and Friends. The current standby wait time is 10 minutes and the lightning lane is at 5 minutes. Oh, figments over there. Here's the plaza without the band going. I can actually show it a little more now without it being so loud. So basically, it's just an open lawn with some umbrellas. The Encanto show does play here. It's currently not playing right now, but it plays multiple times throughout the day. And then when Encanto is not going on, there is a band here. They play at 5, 6.05, 6.55, 7.40, and 8.30 p.m. So it's pretty much a giant concert here all the time. We'll have to come back when Encanto is playing so that I can show you guys. You can buy a statue of Walt Disney for $95. Epcot without fest is... Epcot. <laughs> it's really... there's nothing fun going on right now. So as you can tell, walls are up at Test Track now. That's the old shop. It's not going to be there much longer. It's kind of fun to do the impossible and just keep swimming. We'll go to the front and check that out as well. Actually, I think this happened last time when they were doing this, when they changed it from original Test Track to Test Track 2.0. But they have cars out here that they're selling. Here is the current state of Test Track. Walls are up. Nothing looks like it's happened yet. Maybe if we go on the monorail, we can see more, but everything is still in place as of right now. It looks bare. And you can come buy cars, apparently, out front. <laughs> Test track. 
I'm excited that it's getting rethemed because I did not like Test Track 2.0, but I also don't think I'm gonna like the new one because, I mean, I, I never rode World of Motion. I wasn't alive when World of Motion was around, so I don't know what it's like. I feel like everything in this park looks so bare right now. There's, it's, this park is naked right now. There's nothing here. Yeah, nothing. I don't know, Epcot without pests is just not it, I guess. Let's go talk about Guardians real quick. I have a bone to pick. So David and I were just discussing how we actually keep forgetting that Guardians of the Galaxy even is in this park because we always forget to get a virtual queue, but also this ride has been around long enough that I think they could get rid of the virtual queue at this point. And especially with Test Track being down, I think they need to open this up to everybody because I think it would eliminate more of the crowds at like Frozen and Remy 2 and really even everything out. I don't know. I think it's time to open it up. I got the fish and chips from the UK Pavilion in Epcot. I've never had them before, but I'm excited to try it. I'll let you know how it is when I'm done. It's the next day, we're back at Epcot. I have four minutes to get from here to the Encanto show to show you guys. <laughs> Let's hope I can make it. I had a lot more time than I thought. I made it over here in like less than two minutes. <laughs> but we're here and we're gonna watch Celebration Encanto for the first time. Here's what it looks like with the umbrellas up to try to shade you from all the sun. Luckily it's not sunny right now. Right outside of Camino Core Hall. Here are the times for Celebration Encanto, 9.45, 10.45, 11.45, 1.25, 2.25, and 3.25 p.m. Let's go give Communicore Hall another chance. So over here at Festival Favorites, they are currently serving cheese stuffed arepas with cilantro, lime crema, and cotilla, cheese stuffed arepa with chicken and avocado, coconut tres leches, and then a coconut passion fruit smoothie. Hola, hola, everybody! Bienvenidos, welcome! Come, come, gather around, everybody. We're having a party! Right here at Epcot, and you're all invited. Hey, they don't call this area World Celebration for nothing. In Cantrivia! Do you know what that is? In Cantrivia, you know, in Trivia, blend it together. Okay, let's see if you know your stuff. Here we go, first question. Mirabel has dos hermanas. What does hermana mean? Sisters! Yes! And what are their names? Shout it out! Luisa! Luisa and Isabella! Luisa! Wow! Que bueno! You are also intelligent. This is our home. We've got every generation. Welcome to the family, Madrigal. My tío Bruno. We don't talk about Bruno. You know, but you know whose name nobody forgets, though? Oh, wait! No, no, no! Don't say it! No, no, no! We don't talk about Besides, he's back now. Everybody loves him, so we can talk about him anytime we want. Can anyone name one of Abuela's children besides Bruno, of course? Shout out! Julieta and Beba. All right. What insect appears in Bruno's vision? It's a butterfly. Good job. And who stars in Bruno's theatrical? Inside the walls of the casita. The brats, you got it. Okay, I think we have a couple of familia madrigal experts are here today. We don't talk about Bruno. No, no, no. I associate him with the sound of falling sand. Seven foot free, rats so long as bad. He told me my fish would die the next day. Lord de Mayo, 
It didn't look as like good, but in person it was a lot more fun. I will say it's a very long show. 25 minutes is a little too long, and I could not imagine sitting on the grass for 25 minutes in the baking hot sun. Luckily, it's overcast today, so it wasn't too hot. Um, I liked it because I love Encanto and I love the music from it, so I think that's why I enjoyed it a lot more. If they like change it to a different movie, I don't know how I'd feel about it. So this does run for a limited time only. It opened June 10th of this year, so last month and it does run until September 6th, so it's only like a summertime-ish event. I do recommend seeing it again. I think it's a lot of fun for the kids. It's fun for the adults if you have kids. Um, but yeah, I actually liked it. I don't think I would see it again. Like, I would see it in passing. I don't think I'd actually sit there for the full 25 minutes again, but I would give it a solid 8 out of 10. I will say, I wish that Bruno and Mirabel came out for a lot longer out of the entire 25-minute show. They're probably only out for five minutes of it, so I think if they were incorporated a lot more, it'd be a lot better too, but they still put on a great performance, so yeah, see it if you can before September 6th. Now we're over here. We're going to see Forces of Nature by Anti-Gravity. The show happens at 10, 15, 11, 15, 12, 15, 1, 10, 2, 10, and 3, 10, so six times throughout the day, almost an hour apart. I haven't seen this before. I've seen it on streams, but I haven't seen it in real life, so I'm excited to see it right now. It starts in a few minutes. Hello world travelers, please welcome Forces of Nature by Anti-Gravity. Thank you. 
finally found. Hey? David, welcome back to the video. Where have you been? Mm, to Mars. You went to Mars? <laughs> wow. <laughs> and uh, flew over to Earth also. Oh, how was it? Uh, it, was, it was fun. That's good. Oh, I brought some snacks back. Snacks? Yeah. That sounds good. I'm starving. <laughs> I just finished watching Forces of Nature. Honestly, that was such a great show. It was about 12 minutes long. I actually just read that it was only supposed to be here till June, but they extended their stay here. I don't know how long they're gonna be here, but if you're here, definitely check them out. It was a lot of fun. The music was so cool and it like really got you hyped for what was gonna happen next. So I highly recommend it. And I would give that show a solid nine out of 10. I forgot to review the fish and chips yesterday. They were a 10 out of 10, amazing. I would definitely get them again. Even David liked it and David does not like fish. But it was so good, it was so fresh. The like breading on it was just so crunchy and good. Yeah, I would definitely get it again. Fries were good. <laughs> you liked the fish. No, yeah, it was funny. I just didn't eat it that much. It was a lot for one person. I actually was full after it, but it's a good bang for your buck. We snagged a last minute reservation to eat at Teppanito at 1230. Although they changed how you check in on the app from now on. You have to be like really close to the restaurant. You used to be able to pretty much be at the so beginning of Epcot and you could just check in in front of like Spaceship Earth. Now you have to be super close to the restaurant to do it. The salad is our starter. I got a violet sake and so did David. It's my first time having one, but I'm excited. Tepanito. David, did you enjoy it? I always enjoy it. Are you satisfied? I'm so stuffed. I am too. So I got the volcano roll, which is eight pieces of sushi and a filet mignon, which I usually only get that because David always complains that his isn't enough, so I eat like three pieces and give him the rest. <laughs> but it was good. I enjoyed it. Overall, I think we had a great day. We got to see a lot of the updates today that we didn't get to see yesterday. So I hope you guys enjoyed the updates the Encanto show, the forces of nature. I hope you enjoyed everything you saw. And again, if you're here, make sure to check them out before they leave in September. But if you guys made it to the end of this video, thanks for watching. Make sure to like, subscribe, share, and stay tuned for more. Adios.